Hey there, this is Darren. Are you work, working on your business or in your business? Now, you may have heard this before, and sometimes we need that reminder. What I've been doing, if you've been following along, is I've been going to Lake Las Vegas. During the day, I am working in my business. I'm doing the things I need to do. I'm working on the podcast. I'm editing the podcast. I'm writing articles. But after hours is how I've been choosing to do it. I work on my business. Writing the book is a new element so that I can help market myself, help give me street cred, um, get me a credibility for that new keynote speech that I'm working on, Unforgettable Presentations. So both the books I'm working on have that on the business rather than in the business feel to them. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So we need that reminder and just because you're working hard, hey Denise, uh, just because you're working hard doesn't mean you're improving the systems. You're getting new leads. We've got to just take the time to separate. Okay, this is what I normally do to keep it going. Um, thank you. Thank you, Denise. Well, I had great partners with Mark and Fripp uh, and I just wrote the beginning of chapter seven, part seven and it just, it, anyway, and and a cat. Hey there, buddy. How are you? So I'm really, th I'm glad I'm finally doing this. You know, before a few months ago uh, in December, I was honestly kind of depressed and I did just enough to keep my business going. Uh, but come January 1st, I was like all in again. I'm like, okay, it's time. I got to step it up. I got to work on my business more than in my business. So for you, what does that mean? What systems can you put in place? What systems do you need to maybe upgrade? One of the best decisions I made uh, at the beginning of COVID a year ago was when I just told myself, all right, when we come out of this thinking it would be two or three months, I'm going to run my business differently. I have a different shopping cart. I have a different email marketing system. Uh, I got rid, I did some purging in my house. I upgraded my studio. So I run business differently. So I made it a, a goal to work on my business a great deal. And I did. Um, now I'm continuing that by working on the book to have that new marketing tool to be the <laughs> to the be one of the guys and gals, um, me and Fripp and Mark, to be literally ha have that under my belt saying, he's the guy who wrote the book on unforgettable presentations. Um, so is your book about how to, how you live out of your car now? <laughs> no, I was just out at Lake Las Vegas and I was going to do it out there, but for some reason the signal wasn't working. So I had to, and my phone was dying. So I had to charge my phone up while I was driving back. And I just thought I'm always in my house in the same background. So I just thought it'd be a little different. So I am literally in my garage, in my friend's car. Uh, Sherry, if you watch this, this is your car, taking good care of it. Uh, since mine was totaled last week and I'm waiting for my house refinance to come in, but that's a whole nother story. Anyway, are you working on your business or in your business? And the true answer should be both. Both. We got to continue to maintain to keep that plate spinning while at the same time we got to add some new plates. See you tomorrow. Hey, by the way, I'd love to see a comment. What are you doing to work on your business rather than in your business. We got to work in it to keep it going. But what are you doing? If you're watching this, what are you doing to work on your business? Please let me know. See ya.